Fasting has been steadily growing in popularity and a lot of people have questions about extended longer duration fasting. Unlike intermittent fasting, this will typically involve not eating for a couple days. And most people immediately dismiss this as a viable option for fat loss and weight loss because there are so many myths surrounding this topic. People are worried about losing their muscle mass, for example. They're also worried about slowing down their metabolism. And they're worried about their health and well-being in general. So in today's video, I want to go over exactly what will happen to your body if you don't eat anything for seven days straight. If you're looking to burn some fat, lose some weight, or you're just looking to try an extended fast, I highly recommend that you stay with me throughout this video because I can tell you exactly what to expect and help settle the myths and the doubts in your mind about a longer term fasting plan. First off, let me start by saying that you shouldn't just jump into a seven day long fast without first getting used to shorter fasting intervals like intermittent fasting, the warrior diet, and the one meal a day diet. I recommend that you first try to fast for only two days in a row. However, even if you did do a seven day fast, contrary to what a lot of you may think, you're not gonna just drop dead. Your body is very good at conserving energy when it doesn't have access to food. This is how Gandhi, at 74 years old, was able to do a 21 day hunger strike and not starve to death. When you fast for an extended duration, your body will mostly use stored fat for energy. And even though Gandhi was already pretty lean before he started fasting, he was able to complete all 21 days. For most of us, we consider a normal, regular diet as one in which we're eating every single couple hours. However, before the invention of things like farming and refrigeration, our distant ancestors would experience long periods of fasting followed by periods of feeding when food became available. So most people are actually very capable of fasting for five to 10 days without much of a problem, even though a lot of people think they'll practically die from starvation just by skipping a meal or two. Just to drive this point home even further, there was a study conducted by researchers from a university in Scotland that was published in 1973. In this study, an extremely obese 27 year old man fasted for 382 days. And believe it or not, he didn't drop dead. He actually went from weighing 456 pounds to 180 pounds. Such a long fast could obviously only be achieved under the supervision of doctors and they were using vitamin supplements like yeast, sodium and potassium but the amazing thing is that the researchers followed this man for five years after his fast ended and he managed to maintain his weight, never crossing back above 200 pounds again. Studies like this completely disprove the myth that your metabolism will shut down and won't ever function normally again just because you don't eat every couple hours or every couple days for that matter. A seven day fast is definitely something that you could work up to over time. So, what should you expect to happen to your body over the course of one week of fasting? Well, about six hours after you start the fast, your body will completely finish digesting food and breaking down glycogen into glucose. That glucose is primarily used by your body for energy, and even though it can last for up to 24 to 72 hours, it'll typically be depleted just after six hours. So for most people, that's when you can expect sudden hunger pangs and food cravings to start kicking in. Also in this initial phase, your mood will change because your body is still used to getting its energy from glucose. So you can expect to be a little hangry in the beginning. These intense hunger pangs that can also come with the feeling of dizziness, weakness, and nausea, they'll diminish after the first two days for women and after three days for men. If you can overcome these first three days, the hunger will dramatically decrease and your body will start to feel more energized. During these first three days, you can expect to gradually burn off the glycogen reserves in your muscles and in your liver. This will cause you to lose a good amount of water weight in the beginning because the carbohydrates that you would normally be eating retain water in the body. Also, you will begin to switch over to using fat for energy. So your body will be entering a state of ketosis, which involves elevated levels of ketone bodies. These ketones are produced from the breakdown of fatty acids after your liver glucose is depleted. So within the first three days, you'll already be burning quite a bit of body fat, and this will gradually increase throughout the fast. Having no calories burns approximately one pound of fat per day, making it the fastest weight loss method. Your brain mostly runs off of glucose and uses about 120 grams of glucose per day, which is why over the course of the first few days, you may feel some brain fog. By day three, your brain will begin getting about 30% of its energy from ketone bodies, and by day four, it'll be closer to 70%. 
Its glucose requirements will drop from 120 grams to only 30 grams per day as you adapt. During the first three days, you shouldn't be afraid of losing muscle. Typically, your body won't start breaking down and catabolizing muscle for energy until after 72 hours. And even after those 72 hours, any muscle that you lose will quickly come back after you break your fast. But regardless, your brain will need some glucose and it'll get that by breaking down protein from your muscles into amino acids and converting them to glucose. Even after the first three days, your body won't break down a crazy amount of muscle because your body and its metabolism will adapt to conserve protein. After this three-day point, both men and women can expect to experience a loss of libido and women can experience a shutdown of their menstrual cycle to conserve energy. Surprisingly, however, after the first four days, most people report that the bad feelings generally pass and they describe a feeling of euphoria instead. You can still expect to be tired and to have to get up slowly to avoid being dizzy, but you regain your strength pretty quickly and you can expect some of the most productive days of your life because of the mental clarity that you'll experience. After your seven days are completed, you should break your fast slowly. You'll do best with easy to digest foods that are actually easiest, including things like bone broth, soups, juices, and pureed fruit. White rice, mashed potatoes, and raw fruit are all easy to digest as well, so you can begin incorporating these easy to digest foods the first day or two after breaking your fast. By day three, you should be okay to start consuming most natural real food options, including protein sources. Don't add a crazy amount of variety until you feel comfortable with basic options, and after that, you can begin increasing variety. Your bowel movements may take some time to normalize depending on how your body reacts. Some people say that their bowel movements return right back to normal uh, right away, but others have reported having to wait a month for it to completely normalize. You can expect to keep the fat that you lost to stay off permanently as long as you don't begin binging after you finish your fast. Most people would think that fasting would almost definitely lead to a binge afterwards, but this is definitely not the case. One of the top benefits that you'll experience is your appreciation of real food it'll be restored. So your palate will be reset and you'll actually enjoy the stimulation that you'll get from healthy food rather than ice cream. Your metabolism will also return to normal levels as you reintroduce more calories and food into your diet. Don't worry too much about your weight for a few days after breaking your fast because when you reintroduce carbohydrates, your water weight will shoot up temporarily before balancing out again. But again, that's just water. The fat loss you experience is yours to keep as long as you continue eating practically. But even better than the fat loss is the positive effect that a seven day fast will have on your health, including your blood work. Just as important as it is for your body to repair, it's equally important for it to destroy and clear out before it can reconstruct. This fasting process allows your body to do just that. Multiple studies report that taking virtually no calories for two to seven days was found to revive our tissues and system functions. A seven day fast has been reported to also help increase insulin sensitivity, lower blood pressure, decrease inflammation, increase immunity, and help with digestive problems. So there are a lot of benefits. However, I do have to say, I know it sounds like sunshine and rainbows, but certain people that may not currently be healthy won't do well in a long fast. If you have concerns, consult your doctor before starting a longer fast like this. That's it. I really hope this video has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you want to lose some weight or some body fat without fasting for seven days straight, check out my six week challenge. You'll learn how to do easier, shorter term fasts and a variety of different diet approaches to burn fat fast. And I mean fast. On average, my clients are losing either 20 pounds or 5% body fat in only 42 days. You'll get a meal plan, a workout plan, and a coach to guide you through the entire process. And as long as you follow through on the program that we create for you, it's for free. So to find out more, you can click the link below this video, or you can just visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com.